Nien Buju, Amanda Banning Indigenous Cause, Fort William First Nations, Donjaba, Oshawa and Dungy, Makwa Dodum, Anishinaabe Kwe and Dao. So my name is Amanda Banning. I am Anishinaabe Ojibwe, which is a close ancestor of the uh, people of this territory, the Mississauga and Chippewa Anishinaabe. I am from the Bear Clan, and I recognize that I'm a guest within these ter territories. So I come from the Robinson Superior Treaty Territory, uh, but I've lived within the Williams Treaty's territory since about 2005, uh, living and working and providing for my family. Uh, so uh, I am the Indigenous Relations Advisor here at the City of Oshawa. This is a new role that's only been developed uh, in March 2023, so I'll be the first uh, to occupy this space. What I enjoy most about working with the city has uh, been the opportunity to get to know my city on a different level. Uh, I've lived in Oshawa since 2013, but I have been working in this area um, and all the surrounding First Nation communities since 2005. So being able to actually assist with moving forward towards indigenization and recognizing that there needs to be systemic changes in order to uh, build lasting and meaningful relationships with Indigenous communities has meant a lot for me. Um, also being able to see more of my culture. So uh, June is Indigenous History Month and for this we were able to have a celebration at City Hall. We brought in the big drum as well as traditional dancers, singers, uh, performers of all different backgrounds and being able to celebrate with all of the city staff, but also opening it to community and being able to see the local uh, Oshawa community so heavily involved and um, ready and eager to celebrate Indigenous culture was something that really meant a lot to me. One of the things that I think about as far as if you're interested in coming to uh, this line of work is definitely have confidence in yourself as well. Um, if you feel like this would be a great fit or that you would be a great fit for a position like that, um, don't look so much to some of the barriers as far as Western education goes uh, because when recognizing Indigenous knowledge, we recognize that uh, this looks different than um, what Western civilization has deemed um, necessary. So if you've been able to live um, within your treaty territory or within your community, learning from knowledge holders, elders, uh, but also this is a lot of advocacy work. So just speaking with community and being able to speak uh, and uplift and amplify Indigenous voices is a huge component of this job. So uh, if that's something that you've been doing, I do feel like you would be a great fit. I do work for the Innovation and Transformation Department, and through that we do a lot of the diversity, equity, and inclusion work as well. Uh, so this has there's many different um, roles and uh, responsibilities that we have as a collective within this department to be able to move forward change uh, in a meaningful way.